Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Right now, I need to make sure that you are following this podcast. So right now, smash the follow or subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories. Well, my friends, this is chapter two of Cruise in Vienna, the Bob White Quail's great adventure of building a nest. Those fire ants ruined everything, but are you ready for part two of this adventure? Me too. Let's go. That night, the Bob White Quail's giant party to celebrate all the new nests had been ruined. The fire ants came in that night and destroyed all the nests. You see, Vienna had been right. There was something not right about the soil. That's what she was worried about. And it's because the fire ants had a nest deep, deep down underneath. But even though it was a terrible thing that happened, it was actually a, a lot better that it happened now and not after everyone had laid their eggs. Vienna, Vienna, come on, we're almost there. I'm so sad and tired. All that hard work that we put into the nest is just all for nothing, she said. We're almost there. Just a little bit further, Cruz and Vienna were not only looking for a new, safer place to build a nest, but they were also looking for a place to go to sleep that night. As they pulled the branches back and crawled underneath the bush, all of a sudden, Bob! Bob! White! Who's in there? shouted Cruz. It's us! The Johnsons! Oh, oh, you scared us, said Mr. Johnson. Is that Cruz? Vienna? Oh, it's so good to see you two. Wow, Cruz and Vienna just accidentally stumbled into the same bush that the Johnsons were hiding under. Oh, well, at least we have each other, said Vienna. That night, the four Bob White quails all huddled together underneath the same bush. They knew that they had to get some good sleep because tomorrow was going to be a very, very big day. They didn't have much time before the eggs were going to come. They had to get that nest ready. The next morning, as they all woke up bright and early, they started looking around for a good spot. All right, Vienna, I'm going to trust you on this one, said Cruz. You got a better sniffer than me. You knew that that dirt wasn't right. Yeah, I don't know exactly what it smelled like, but I just had a feeling. had a feeling that it just, you know, wasn't a safe place. As Vienna, Mrs. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, and Cruz all started looking around on this hillside, they noticed that there was a spot that looked pretty good just around the corner. Hey, let's go, guys. Let's go check that out, said Cruz. Vienna was the first one there, sniffing and scratching at the dirt. And So, Vienna, what do you think of this spot? Uh, I don't know. I still I don't have a very good feeling. All right. Well, Vienna doesn't feel right about this, so we are going to keep searching. The four Bob Whites kept on moving until finally, (gasps) this is it, said Vienna. This is it. I can feel it. This is the best place. Start digging. All four of the quails started digging two nests right next to each other. They wanted to be nice and close so that they could look out for each other. As they started digging and digging and building this nest, Vienna and Mrs. Johnson could feel the eggs almost ready to start coming. By the end of the night, there was no longer only four quails on that hillside. There were four quails and a whole bunch of eggs. Do you know how many eggs a bobwhite quail can lay? Yeah, 20 eggs. Holy smokes, that is a lot of eggs. Well, I think... This is just the beginning of their family's adventure. But hopefully there's no more fire ants. (laughs) Wow. I'm so glad that they were able to find a new place, right? And I'm glad that Vienna used all of her creature skills of sniffing and clawing at the ground to make sure that they found a place with no more fire ants. Oh, I do not like fire ants. But Cruz, Vienna, and the Johnsons now will live on this rocky hillside that doesn't have any fire ants. 
and is a great place to raise all their future little baby quails. All right, my friends, I need to hear you say one more time, what does a Bob White sound like? Yeah, Bob White! Bob White! <laughs> well, that is the end of today's adventure. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And wow, I did not know that fire ants were like the main predator of Bob White's. That is so crazy how such a small little creature like a fire ant can cause so much damage and destruction to the Bob White quail's family. Well, did you know that Bob White quails, they're actually not very good at flying. They're better at running. (laughs) Yeah, so it's a good thing that they didn't have to go very far because they can usually only fly for a couple seconds at a time. Well, my friends, I hope you have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.